Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So today I will be chasing archers once again, but this time with Commander Sulla. It starts off as typical, I'm defending the light artillery, trying to support them and so. We end up taking some heavy hits from the opponents and so. Here I was actually hoping to scout for the light artillery, but that kinda didn't work out. Nobody was out in the open at least not in the cone of the light artillery, and well, I did go scout, I took minimal damage, fortunately. Sulla is probably not the best scouting unit, he hasn't got that much arrow block, nor has he got incredible mobility. Of course he is faster than many other infantry, but how much? So this game actually revolves heavily around the archers. There are so many of them, especially in the opposing team, and well, my team as usual has got something in the form of something. But since we have the vision and we're controlling the middle area, we have a lot of chances to use the light artillery here. And because these opponents here thought they could mess with us, they took a heavy hit from the light artillery. That was really heavy actually. So the light artillery has at least done something. The first hit was the most devastating one. And now the archers are just running away out of the fear of uh, receiving anything similar. So let's take a deep hard look at the map. What it shows us is practically that everything we have is pretty much in the middle. There is something in the forest, there is something down by the seaside. Or at least it was there. We could have actually overcome this uh, small forest area or the middle area. But because our team members went in so wastefully, and we couldn't support them, we are pulling back. That actually isn't the only problem. There is also a forest where we have no vision towards, and we want to build range for the light artillery. Our biggest problem is that we are all in a such a small area, and because opponents have overpowering number of ranged units, we need vision, we need control, but we don't have any so it is best to switch to defensive tactics. We lost some of our infantries in one of the more dumbest ways. They went overly aggressive, and because of that they got flanked. Everybody thinks they need to engage the first opponent they see, and that is often enough their undoing. Even the spearmen went to their aid a bit too late. Those swordsmen didn't have to go that offensive, they could have just baited their opponents little. These ones here are doing really well, because they still had the vengeance. Unlike the opposing sword infantry up there, which didn't. That is also a clever way to engage, just waiting out the Germanicus's vengeance. So now we do have the watchtower, which is fortunate, but as it appears there are just so many ranged units behind those infantries. Because we don't have that many ranged units and we probably can't go head on, we pulled back. The light artillery is, well, doing what he can, and we have to focus our defenses inside the base. Seeing as there is someone already capping. Oh, and look at this, he brings friends. Well, this part isn't anything special, we're gonna decimate our opponents and, well, win the favor of the crowd. And as you see, our team members are already capping. But, well, that doesn't go exactly as planned. And my focus as well is always to defend our ranged units. I don't exactly want to sacrifice the javelins, but I also don't want to expose myself. So we are in a complicated situation. Well, these guys can't get through. Javelins are doing what they can against the uh, barbarian infantries. And I'm just holding this position. The worst mistake ever done. Stacking your units and going fully offensive. As the charge impact is nice, the sacrifice probably isn't. And also to keep the ranged units away from the light artillery, I'm chasing down archers. Perhaps not exactly chasing, but forcing them to run so the light artillery could escape and suffer minimal casualties. If archers would have been left unchecked here, I fear they might have either killed the javelins, killed one of my units, or the war dogs. 
we sometimes just have to make them run long enough and far away so they could be useless at key locations. Because I forced them to run away, my two infantry only suffered casualties from the barbarian units. And because many of their infantry are coming in so heavily, the archers will be losing their defense. And that is when the game of cat and mouse begins. Because our team members were also capping, it forced their troops to split. And that may also be one of the biggest reasons why they were overwhelmed here so easily. Well, we have great chances now. They wasted their infantry and scorched earth. And these two remnant units of uh, Roman swordsmen, they are also pretty much gone. They can't withstand us, there are also javelins shooting at them. And this is where the fun part starts. Since they don't have many units to defend them, we have either two choices to make. Hope that our light artillery can bring down the archers, or go after them ourselves. And the best idea in my head just sounds, go after them, chase them down, force them to run. I have probably one of the best chances here of catching up with them. At first I thought about waiting and seeing what might happen, but then I realized, okay, there is no turning back, we either do it now or never. Just because their troops were split between two bases. This will be very painful, yet very rewarding. I fear that they might focus one of my single units and bring it down with devastating effectiveness. If I get close, I can't turn back. Even if they throw scorched dirt, I just have to keep moving through. I can't stop, I can't turn back, otherwise I will expose myself too much. I'm just forcing myself after them. And what is actually the problem here is that my single unit is pretty much at their neck. While two of my units are very far away. That means they can focus this one by spreading with their units. But they try a bit different tactic. They throw down scorched dirt and uh, leave one of their archers behind, hoping to focus me down. As they do it really well at first, I still have to take down a single unit at first. If I leave it behind with significant number of units, they will start shooting me in the back. So at first I think about sending two units after these three archer units. But after a few seconds I realize I need to cut off that uh, rear cliffy area. So that he couldn't escape that easily. And they also realized what I was doing. So for a moment there I thought about sending one of my units after three of those archers. But then I saw that one spreading. And since this player wasn't very smart with his use of archers, I realized that I have to focus the greater danger. I'm entering that way just to cut off their escape pass. Any other way is covered. So, these archers are cornered. It didn't take us long time to catch up with them, and they didn't play it very smart. Or at least these ones down here. While these two back here were very aggressive and very effective. Even at the very end, he was defiant, forcing me to chase after him. And still, after a short while, forcing me to run after him, knowing that he has already lost, running and hoping to burn me, while trapping himself pretty much inside a small box. As the javelins, dog handlers and I, we are all around him. And thank god for those javelins, could have used them a bit earlier though. But these aren't the last ranged units in the opposing team. Here, hiding and fighting in the forest, forcing us to chase after them or leave them be. As I do have the whip, they are a lot faster with a rapid advance. Like a curse, I can't chase them down, but I can force them to run. And this is where the javelins going around the hill come in. We will keep forcing them and they will keep running, slightly harassing us all the way. But never being able to inflict more than few flimsy shots. It is always fun to play with something that can chase down archers, especially the infantry, seeing as rarely few catch up with those ranged units. But I still managed to make it work. So this was pretty much it about chasing archers with Sulla. So at first I played regular defending my ranged units and at the very end, ended up chasing them down, or at least forcing them to run. 
Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.